Knowing all the information and facts about diets, nutrition, and training can sometimes cause you to not lose weight, get in shape, and transform your body. Stay with me here, and I'll explain exactly what I'm talking about. Hey everyone, Mickey Campbell here, author of Make It Happen and founder of Get Right Personal Training. I would like to thank you for tuning in to this episode of Transformation Talk Tuesday. As you know, the goal of this show is to help anyone looking to transform their body, mind, and spirit achieve their transformation goal. We'll discuss starting the journey, what you should be doing, and overcoming the, some of the obstacles that will inevitably come up along the way. Today's episode is titled, Beware of Information Overload. It's easier now than ever to find all the information you want about any topic under the sun. Losing weight, getting in shape, and transformation are no exception to that. If you want to know how to do it, simply type in a few keywords into any search engine and voila, tons of information will appear and tell you everything you need to know. You can find the best diet, workout plans, supplements, and everything else that you need in order to achieve your transformation goal. It's all right there. Now you spend hours digging in and find, while well, some recommend that you do cardio first thing in the morning during a fasted state, others say you shouldn't do any cardio at all. There will be publication after publication screaming the benefits of low carb or keto diets, and just as many stating that this form of dieting is no good and has no benefit at all. During your research, you'll find plenty of people singing the praises of weight training as a way for you to achieve your goals. And the next link you click takes you to a place that says lifting weights can be detrimental to your weight loss goal. Filtering through all this information can be overwhelming, to say the least. Not to mention the time spent here could be spent actually working towards your goal line. But we won't go there yet. Now let's say you've honed in on your plan of attack. You know you'll be incorporating a particular nutritional strategy, cardiovascular exercise, as well as weight training into your arsenal. My advice to everyone starting a transformation journey is to be careful here. Keep it simple. Start small and adapt as needed. Ed Milet has a saying that fits here. He says, complexity is the enemy of execution. And I couldn't agree more. I see it all the time. People spend so much time researching and becoming experts on this stuff that they often end up never executing because they're overwhelmed by all the data. It hinders more people than almost anything. Let me give you an example. Let's go with keto diets. Now keto's gained a, a massive amount of popularity over the last several years and you won't be hard pressed or have any trouble finding tons of information on how to follow the diet, recipes, side effects, benefits of keto, and anything else you want to know for that matter. But oftentimes, once someone decides that they're going to quote unquote go keto, they find themselves in a flurry of trying to perfect their macros and, and not actually adapt into the keto plan. They don't execute because they feel like they aren't hitting the, the perfect percentages or they fear that they'll be eating too much protein and their body turns um, that into glucose and, and that knocks them out of ketosis. So until they can get everything perfect, they wait, delaying their weight loss and transformation efforts. I could go on with a ton of examples here, but hopefully you get the gist of what I'm saying. I encourage you to take action execute. If you have a transformation goal, you don't need to be an expert in or at anything. Obviously, being a transformation coach myself, it would be my recommendation that you find a coach, one that you feel comfortable working with, and trust them to be the expert. But if that's not a path you want to travel, I completely understand. Just get started implementing changes into your daily routine and be open to experimenting 
with things that you feel will work for you. Don't waste too much time and energy trying to perfect a certain training philosophy or nutritional strategy before you even attempt to do something that takes you towards your goal line. Now, before I start getting beat up too bad here, I am in no way discouraging anyone from doing research and or gathering knowledge about exercise, nutrition, and transformation strategies. I'm simply saying that procrastination disguised as education will not serve anyone's transformation goal. You have to take action in order to make it happen. Remember, you are worthy and you can achieve your goal. I believe in you. God bless. Hey y'all, thanks for hanging around. Check out the videos here. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe. I'd love to hear from you, so don't forget to comment below. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you think that the content may serve. God bless.